For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Israel has heightened surveillance measures after the COVID-19 pandemic. Palestinians who want to verify the validity of the residential permits in Israel need to download an app called Coordinator. Reports say that the app permits the military to access the user's camera, check notifications received, as well as see downloaded files. Users need to accept the following terms to install the app. We may make use of the information we collect for any purpose, including for security purposes. You agree and declare that you know that all the information you are asked to provide is not required by law or defense regulations and it is provided of your own free will so that we can make use of it as we see fit. Israel's Shin Bet Domestic Intelligence Agency has been given sweeping powers to monitor people and identify those with diseases and track those who have interacted with them. Based on this tracking, the Israeli Health Ministry had sent out text messages to citizens stating that they have been found to have been in close proximity to someone who has been tested positive. The notice says that you must immediately go into isolation for 14 days to protect your relatives and the public. Israelis who tested positive also received messages informing them that their cell phone data would now be used to warn others who may have been exposed to them, according to a statement from the health ministry. The recipients of the messages had not signed up for this, nor is there a way to opt out. Though the Israeli Supreme Court issued a temporary injunction allowing only those who tested positive to be tracked, and ruled that a parliamentary committee would have to endorse the initiative, it later revoked the injunction. Civil rights groups have condemned the government's decision to use mass surveillance as a means to curb the spread of the virus. The notorious spyware manufacturing company NSO had also pitched its software to track the pandemic. NSO's software Pegasus has been used to monitor human rights defenders and activists around the world. On Sunday, protests broke out in Israel against the government's anti-democratic surveillance measures. As of the evening of April 22nd, there have been around 14,300 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Israel, with nearly 190 dead.